Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm Tiff and today I'm putting together my first proper sim rig, if I can even call it a rig because it's quite entry level in the grand scheme of things. Before now I've only had a Logitech G920 so it'll be interesting to compare the different kit, particularly the rim on the G920 never felt right to me and neither did the paddle movement which was never reassuring in its feedback. I've built mine around a Playseat Evolution Alcantara. It's pretty basic but it does what I need it to do and it's very compact which is what I wanted. It's super easy to put together and it feels really robust. There's a small issue with the steering column, but I'll get onto that later. I started with the Fanatec Club Sport V2.5, which is belt drive and has a brushless servo. The feedback is really impressive and the maximum force it can exert is quite surprising the first time you turn it up. Before you get started, you need to download the latest updates from the Fanatec site, and you need to do this for the wheel too. If you're watching this without much knowledge of sim kit, the V2.5 isn't larder tier, but it's not Pagani tier either, somewhere right in the middle. I'll call it McLaren tier, which brings us neatly onto the rim I've got. I've gone for the Fanatec McLaren GT3 V2 rim, which is Xbox and PC ready. As these are the two platforms I'll be using, this suits my setup well, and it has the hand clutches for launching and pitting in F1 games, as well as the mappable rotaries for proper sims like Assetto Corsa Competizione. You can switch between the two platforms by pressing neutral and Y, confirmed by the wheelbase changing colour. The GT3 V2 is actually one of, if not the cheapest Fanatec rims, but it feels fairly premium. My only gripe with the wheel would be the lack of Xbox functionality. It maps the rocker system paddles to the bumpers, so you can't map the left and right bumper buttons on the front to do other things like DRS and overtake, which is annoying. Oh, and the blinding white LED that you can't turn off, much like the G920 wheel has. Great. All of this aside, it's a truly great rim for the price point. And last onto the pedals, I've gone with the CSL Elite, just a two pedal setup at the moment because I knew I was ordering the wheel with the hand clutches. If I go for a more serious setup and get a manual shifter, I'll probably go for the Club Sport V3 or switch to some hoisting belt pedals. There's not much to say about the CSL Elite pedals other than that very good but just lack adjustability, which hasn't really been an issue so far. They don't come with additional nuts and bolts to mount to your pedal plate, so you'll need to factor that in and at least 4 times 6 mil bolts if you buy them. Once it's all assembled, the only issue for me is that the steering column has a little bit of flex. Not loads, but it is noticeable. The last thing to do is a quick test. I'm going straight to Monaco, as this is the only F1 circuit I've driven in the real world so far. You can see the full video of that very slow lap of Monaco in the Abarth 124 Spider on my channel. Slap was a one ten point seven. Let me know if you want to see any more sim related things on the channel or if you prefer to just see the real cars. As always, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe for plenty more to come this year. Ciao.